Welcome to iLectron Line, and here's lesson 3D of word problems. Now we're going to be dealing with mixture problems. Here are some examples. Number one, a 10% alcohol solution and a 40% alcohol solution are mixed to form 800 milliliters of a 35% solution. How much of each mixture was needed? All right, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're trying to define what the, the amount of each solution in terms of x. So let x equal and it really doesn't matter which one you pick, let's say let x equal the amount of the 10% solution, amount of 10% solution. Okay, so if we used x amount of 10% solution, then the total, which is 800 milliliters, minus x is the amount that we used of the other solution. So the total, 800, minus what we used for the 10% solution equals the amount that we used of the 40% solution. So amount of 40% solution. Okay, now, the best way to set this up is to kind of draw it like this. Let this represent the amount of alcohol that came from the 10% solution. So this is the 10% solution. And this is the amount of uh, alcohol that we got in the 40% solution. So 40% right here. And uh, that equals the final solution that we have. That's equal to a 35% solution. All right. Now, I'm trying to keep track of the alcohol. And how much alcohol was there in the 10% solution? Well, I multiply the amount of that solution times the percentage of the solution. So 10% multiply it times the amount that I have. So this represents the amount of alcohol that I have in my 10% solution. 10% times the number of milliliters of that solution. And here I multiply the percent of alcohol in that solution times the amount, which is 800 minus X. And this represents the amount of alcohol that I have coming from the 40% solution. So the amount of alcohol I have from the 10% solution plus the amount of alcohol I have from the 40% solution must equal all the alcohol I have in my final solution. So that would be 35% um, uh, solution times the total that I have. In that case, I have 800 milliliters. And that would be the alcohol that I have in my total solution. And that's the best way to set up the equation. So the amount of alcohol in my 10% solution plus the amount of alcohol in my 40% solution equals the amount of alcohol in my 35% solution. And by multiplying the percent alcohol in the solution times how much of the solution I use, that then gives me the alcohol in that solution. And now I have an equation. So 0.1 times x plus 0.4 times 800 minus x equals 0.35 times 800. Now I have to solve that for x. First thing I want to do is get rid of decimal places. I have one decimal place here, one decimal place here, two decimal places there. That means I multiply both sides of the equation by 100 to get rid of all the decimals. So multiply the left by 100 and multiply the right by 100. Okay, 100 times 0.1 gives me 10. So it gives me 10 times x plus 100 times 0.4 gives me 40. So that is 40 times 800 minus x, and that equals 100 times 0.35, that's 35, times 800. All right, next, I go ahead and multiply everything out to get rid of parentheses. So this gives me 10x plus 40 times 800, that's 32,000 minus 40x equals, and 35 times that, that's 24, that's 28,000. All right, next step is to move all the x's to one side, and they're already on the left side, so I don't move those. And then I move all the numbers to the other side, so I need to move the 32,000 to the right. So I get 10x minus 40x on the left side equals 28,000 minus 32,000. Okay, at this stage, I can go ahead and combine like terms. I can add the left, add the right. Let me move over here and do that. So 10x minus 40x, that's minus 30x equals 28,000 minus 30,000, that's minus 4,000. 
and then I go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by minus 30. So that cancels out, and a 0 and a 0 cancels out, and so x is equal to, hmm, that doesn't give me a nice round number, does it? Well, 400 divided by 3 is 133 and a third, so that is equal to 133 and a third milliliters. Okay, come back over here. So, how much of the 10% solution do I need? I need 133 and a third milliliters. So, how much do I need of the 40% solution? Well, 800 minus 133 and a third. That's 666 and two thirds of that solution. So, that would be the number of milliliters, number of milliliters, that solution, and that's how you find. The answer to this particular problem.